Hey guys, um, so I was just sitting outside enjoying the night air. Uh, my kids are going to their dad's for the night and I am just resting. And I was sitting outside enjoying the night air, like I said, and I just wanted to sing over you. And some of you may think that it's completely goofy and silly and you're going to push you know stop as soon as I start but I believe that there are some of you out there that could use a reminding that you are holy do you hear me you are holy you are not a, a horrible wretched sinner the old man is gone he is dead he was crucified with Christ on the cross the thing that would separate you from Father God is no longer available as a way out of this thing that we've been given. You can no longer say, well, I, I could never be good enough because no, he eliminated all of that on the cross. And you're still stuck in that old man's body. But guess what? He's on the ground, dead, gone, and you're down there trying to breathe life into him. Like, I'm no good. I'm, I'm invaluable. Nobody wants to be with me. I can never, uh, you know, get my body down to a, a good fit size again. I can't do it. I can't get that next level at my job. I can't get through to my kids. I can't be the wife I need to be. And man, I've blown it as the husband. Across the board, we're constantly trying to breathe life back into the dead man. And I'm telling you tonight that you're holy. And when Christ went to that cross, he didn't do it as an example for us. He did it as us. And we were crucified with him, the old man. Gone forever, no longer an option to keep you from the Father. It doesn't work anymore. Those things you're holding on to from your past, let it go. You are holy. That relationship that has fallen apart, let it go. You are holy. That relationship that you've got going with someone who is uh, uh, pulling at you and tugging at you and just getting you all frazzled. You're constantly in turmoil. You are going to have to find a place of rest and let it go because you are holy. I'm not saying don't have relationships. I'm saying take care of you. You are holy. That's all I got to say about that. Here you go. Here's the song that I thought of tonight for you. Holy, holy, holy. You are holy, and I'm telling you that from this moment forward, you can know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is not mad at you, that He is not disappointed in you, and that the way that He sees Jesus, His most perfect Son, is the way that He sees you. And the real truth of that matter is that was God climbing on that cross, and He was coming to say, this is how much I love you for this section in time. From from when uh, eternity began to the to the moment that you were put onto the earth, to the moment you're going to come off of the earth and back into eternity with me, for that one small section, I am willing to go and show you. I'm going to take us together. And we're going to walk through letting the old man go and allowing the new man to rise up. Jesus said that we would see even more than what he saw, even more, more abundant than what he experienced. You are holy. The things that have held you down are no longer powerful in your life. Let it go. You are holy. 
man, I just really believe in you tonight, and I hope that you've heard my heart. Um, you're holy, man. You're totally holy. Word.